Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Ma Teng Qiang Only campaign. We pick things back up for episode 12 from turn 77 in the autumn season of 209. So last episode, we set up Nobe's forces that we absorbed to launch our southern attack. And we're going to do some modifications to this strategy. Because right now we're running into an issue where there's not many factions that we can attack. Everything in the dark green is us, everything in the light green are our vassals, blue are our allies, and light blue are our allies' vassals. So not much left on the map to fight. Nanman factions, sure. High Empire, not so interested, but Sun Tzu, I have a plan. So if we zoom in here, Sun Tzu is holding on to a very valuable piece of land, a weapon craftsman here in Poyang and we really want it. So I thought, instead of having this army continue to float down to join the fight against the Naman factions, which is rather simple, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna pop over towards the Weapon Craftsman. Once we get close, uh, as in, I mean, we wanna go, we don't wanna trespass, so I guess we'll go the long way instead of going through Wang Lan's territory. We'll go to right here. And then we'll ask our whole alliance to do alliance war against Sun Tzu. Poor boy, he has one, two, three. So at that point, I sweep in, take the weapon craftsman, and I will try to get a fight with Sun Tzu to see if I can capture him or his sister. Uh, he will never join us because he is the leader, but the sister might join us because she's not heir, right? Director of Finance, as you can see here. So if we could grab her and through the capture, that'd be wonderful. If not, we get the copper mine, which is also something we're interested in. And then we'll leave our alliance partner, hopefully Yuan Shu, to wipe them out. Because at that point, they won't have a grudge against us, and maybe they'll join us. Especially if we can capture Sun Tzu and release him once, that'll be even better. So that's going to be the plan for this corner of the south. In the middle here, we have something interesting that we need to do. We need to farm rebels. But this time we're farming the Yellow Turban Rebellion faction, which is a little bit different from the rebel spawns that we get from each settlement. Those, only the first five will give us items. But this, once they have a piece of land, they form this faction and they can start recruiting from Yellow Turban characters that's floating out there, which means Zhang Kai, as there was originally a Yellow Turban faction at the start of 194, uh, but they got wiped by Liu Biao, most likely. So they can start joining them. So that's why you can see people like Zhang Kai, Gong Du, uh, He Man, He Yi, Wang Shao, and uh, Pei Yuan Shao all joining those factions. But more importantly, they pull all the weapons from all the rebel spawns, from all sorts of factions across the map. For us, we're only going to see five items, but every other faction can see items too. So a lot of the time, all the Anzuri items, the gold ones, end up spawning to yellow turbans, which we can see. She has an Enzuri item, the Blade of Seven Gems. This is not an actual sword. She has a weapon. This is an Enzuri item. It's spawned for her. Whole army gets 15% melee damage for melee infantry. We want this. And he has another gold Enzuri item too, the Book of Concealing Methods, which gives 10 points of cunning, 10 points of satisfaction. It's not that great, but it's gold, right? We want, you know, gold, bronze, silver, silver, silver. Gold, bronze, bronze, silver. So much stuff. So we're farming items. That's going to be Liu Bei, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei's job. Even more important than getting us tea. So let's get this kicked off. Oh, he escaped once. This is awkward. Because I don't want to army wipe. I believe... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click them and backspace really really quick so we don't move anymore we have him trapped in our circle he can't run away i can't really fight him now because if we beat him the army is wiped off the map because he retreated once then we lose our chance to farm the items if we don't get a successful capture this way we let him wait through this turn and he can't run away from us, and we can try this again. Hopefully he won't retreat. Hopefully he will even attack us, that will be even better. But we'll see what happens. If it doesn't work, next turn we'll do the second attack, but let's give it a chance. We don't want to rush it. 
All right, so that's another important thing we're doing. Let's see, we have a random level up, which is fine. Um, definitely night battle and fire arrows. And then beyond this, well, we have other armies. Let's see, it's on bot's group. And Drugodown's group. They're gonna pacify the south. Let's see where they're gonna go. I'm gonna go wipe out Wutugu first. But maybe rest up our men for a turn. These just got swapped, so they are a bit injured. And also the general is also a bit injured, so we'll wait a turn here. Over here, I want Drugodown to go to the thick of things. That's the capital. So maybe we'll find Menghuo there. They have no reach, so this is a rather slow army. Zambasu can go off to the random corners. Uh, we'll go to Yunnan and uh, come down. See if we can capture these land. Ma Chao is sitting pretty at home. I don't think he's going to be doing much. It looks like Li Zhu has his hand full. As, you know, there's armies around. He has to mess with Cao Cao's forces. So we're just going to chill. Uh, wait for dad to die of old age. And then we can focus on economy. Wudu got the rank 5 upgrade, which is wonderful. We probably should go tall for this. So let's get started. Jincheng. Hmm. I guess they could go tall just for the entrepreneur, even though we've been blessed with one somewhere else. Um, we should build one ourselves. Yeah, especially since this is still a minister, so it is worth it. Alright, let's do it. Han Zhong. Ooh. We'll wait. When we get the final reforms, we'll start doing it. We'll, we'll, we'll put it to a city. Marketplace to level 3. I think that's as high as we can get with city build. So not optimum, but we'll do it. And this will be demolished for uh, inbuilding. Pooling, we probably want corruption reduction going pretty quickly, but most likely food. Like we're going with a lot of food build, even though we might need a little bit of extra seasonal deployment down the line. Let's see, Fulian is located here. It's technically future front line against Liu Biao. So I guess we could do it, because that way in the future when we summon armies here, they can get higher rank. Wait, Dong has a second build. Has a yeah, has a second build. Hmm. I don't want to go tall here though. So nope. Changsha has almost nothing. Well, it's gonna be a heavy commerce location, but state workshop first. Probably want to upgrade this to a respectable small city. Any way we can trade with Liu Biao. Right now our... Hmm, I wonder if we can swap the fishing port. With the trade port. What else can we offer him? Hmm. I don't want to offer him anything else. 14.9. I mean, we can overcome it pretty easily, given our haul of items, especially Nanman items that we probably will never use. Um, like these two we can just give away. And we have a great elite as well. Eight point five. Let's see, we have extra food. Okay, six points is where the value ends. And the rest, I guess, we'll do a cash payment. Probably a couple thousand. Alright, I think this will be better off for us. And for him as well. I hope it's a high level trade port. Oh, level three? Okay, it's not terrible, it's workable. Okay, and I think we're good to go, except for spies, 
We're gonna do the assassination now. Why can't I do it? Your spy loyalty is too low. I have to maintain her loyalty? Okay, fine. It's gonna delay us by another two turns, which will run into other issues such as interference, but we can't really do much about that. Over here in Liu Bao's faction, Gan Ning is our key target. If he can let me just discredit him, maybe he can turncoat as well. Now we wouldn't have an extra spot to see that, but we can get a reform for that or work something out. Diplomacy is pretty solid. I don't think we're going to go to peace with anyone and no one really wants to be our vassal. Sun Tzu will be the one we're most interested in, but we have that other plan to get someone else to wipe them. So we're good to go. Let's continue. Also, I want us to join a war against Zhang Ji. I mean, we can, but we can just say no and no one will be angry. Yeah. All right, new turn. Oh, it's winter. We forgot to do... um. Wait, wait, wait. Who vassalized who? Hong Sunzang got vassalized. Yuan Shao is becoming the vassal master of the north. Should be interesting. We've got to do this. All right, move a character to Jiangyang. Build the school. Alliance with Shi Min Hui. I wonder if this is Shi Xie's faction. Move a character to Jiangyang, Jiangyang. Grain storage. Okay. The first one is where? Jiangyang, Jiangyang. And. Wu Ti, Jiangyang. Wu Ti should be the lumber yard. Okay, so all we have to do is just summon a character at both locations, one each. Like Lady Mi can come out for a stroll, hop in, go home. Perfect, now we got those bonuses going. And then we also need a school and a grain storage. Alright, let's see. Any enemies? Meng Huo in particular, where are you? Don't see him, but we can go get his capital. Okay, Duo Si's army. It's not Meng Huo's group. We'll just head over. We can ignore that one. Wow, that's a loop. Wait, it takes us more than one turn? Let's shorten that time. Three level ups. Our wife? can just be on assignment duties forever. Are we also going to be on assignment duty? Where's the third character? Oh, we cheat. So, Tenacity of Steel. Make her stronger rather than make her Renu stronger. Yeah, it's too late. I already decided. Alright, so they mobilize. Now the important people. Starting with the raid attack against... Ooh, they don't get along anymore. Oh right, they didn't anyways. They weren't getting along before. Alright, we want to go here. It'll take us, it'll take us some time. Please let us farm. Don't run. Okay, he's just going to keep running away because he feels weaker than us. Well, if that's the case, we're just going to wipe him out. Hopefully we get the capture. Zero percent. That's not great. He has really high escape chance. I don't think our items are factored in. We do have the 25% from... or 10%? 10% from the Shaman. And this is based on Pyrrhic Victory. Pyrrhic Victory. 
uh, we can definitely do a lot better than Pyrrhic Victory. I'm pretty sure we can maybe even get Decisive Victory. That should help a little. Yeah, let's just hope for the best here. She has a lower escape chance, so maybe it'll be easier here. Alrighty, so it's dark. It's very heavily forested, and they do have two cavalry units of their own. So it's not going to be as simple as us killing Naman forces, uh, especially since the map is designed this way. But we could pull a few tricks too. First off, I don't think we have fire arrows, which is fine. All three generals have resiliency, so we can duel if we want. That's totally fine. We have very strong generals ourselves. I would like to utilize our deployables well here. Hmm. They're all over there. I'm thinking about... I need to find a way to wipe out the two horseback huntsmen. Those are actually quite strong. I've, if I could lure them into some area where we have these, it would be wonderful. And if not, we can always set forest fires with our generals. Yeah, it's very disorganized, but it's okay. Everyone's kind of hiding away. We can set them a little bit farther apart. We're going to scale with our general's force um, and maybe get a couple duels out of the way. I mean, this is pretty much the start of Liu story, historically. Three brothers fighting yellow turbans. We're just a few years late and serving under a new master. Wait, are they capturing it already? Hold on, hold on. Decline, decline, decline. Perfect. They actually send out their cavalry to scout. We're gonna first decline everything. I'm gonna pick up this one. And then Zhang Fei and Liu Bei can kill the two cavalry units. Now, too bad they didn't bump into that. Let's use it. Zhang Fei has no roar yet, but can we get a duel with him? Yes. Hey, might not be able to solo these, but they don't fight back because they're ranged, so that's good. What about him? I mean, I trust in the other two winning. I don't know if I trust Liu Bei winning. And plus, he doesn't want to duel, so we'll just chase him around for a little bit. These shouldn't be an issue, even though Yellow Turbans have a ton of boosts, especially her. Scholars are really scary duelists. Yeah. Zhang Fei might be in trouble. Yeah. It's okay. Guan Yu wins. I mean, even if Zhang Fei dies, what will happen is everyone will get a boost. As long as we win the battle, no um, bad traits will be picked up. So everything will be fine. It would just make the other two brothers stronger if we could do some damage, though. Don't give up. Don't give up. Uh-oh. Rage. Rage. Zhang Kai is like, what? Can't you do that after I finish my duel? Nobody's out of control for a little bit, but he's probably just going to kill some horseback huntsmen. Let's go back to the duel. Do they have breathing ship? Okay, they don't. Okay. Come <laughs> Now, this is gonna take a while. I might need to micro this away from all those troops. Alright, 16 left. He has really. I mean, he boosts his melee evasion once in a while. Really high armor. Oh, it's about to be over. There we go. Alright, Dobe is surrounded. We want to kill those. There's another one here. That's annoying. 
Now, do we trust Guan Yu into dueling her? Because she looks scary, to be honest. Maybe no duel is better, and we'll rely on our cavalry. Who am I mind to get out of here? Yeah, it's okay. We'll let them live. We outrange them. If it weren't so heavily forested, it'd be a lot easier. Where's the fires, right? Can we lure them to the fire? Actually, stop moving. You guys, come out. We'll set a trap. We'll show ourselves and make them come towards us, and then we'll hide into the forest. Okay, slow, 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 slow. Alright, we'll fire some shots off. Let's go this way. We'll shoot as we move. Make them kind of come in this way, and then we'll disappear into the forest. Oh, they have fire arrows? <laughs> they came more prepared than we did. I will slowly disappear. Can we kill those? They're burning themselves. Perfect. I mean, if they keep burning themselves, I might keep them. Oh, they have other ways to burn themselves. Okay, we gotta go. Peasant archers with fire arrows. Alright, and then we'll move them kind of behind our trap. Oh, they're gonna just kill themselves with their own fire, aren't they? Yep, they are. Perfect. And we're still hitting them. they got. Come on, come into this forest. Leave them past, maybe go here. Alright, we'll just use these for now.
Do they see some? They see some of these. Okay. Go this way. These are hidden. No, they're not hidden anymore. Okay, keep moving. Just charge them. Boy, he has terror. Okay, the arrow is gonna hurt ourselves. Oh. Gonna make them move back through the fire forest. Whack him to death without dueling. How are other boys doing? Kai back a little. He's gonna bounce back. Alright, kill the spear. We can charge the rest. Nice. We killed him. She's a friend. She got boosted. Mm, running out of arrows. Once he's done, we're going to start chasing some of the routed units. There we go. We're going to pull. They're going to take over. Nobody lost his mount? Oh no 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 Why you come back, save your brother Come back, save your leader Well, well Fire 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 Guan Yu's terror Alright, everyone charge this. That one is not a spear unit. Our enemy general is coming. Finish them off. Welcome them to come out. Don't see any enemies just yet. There we go. See some. Murder some. Once he dies, we charge. Sword up. 
All right, she routed. That's all good. Should be a decisive victory. Yep, good. Alrighty, let's see if we get items. Come on. Okay. We, oh no, this is the one that doesn't have the gold. We got junk height. He has a bronze T. Uh, it's not useful. I don't like his retinue though. These are strong. Off with his head. They're still alive, so the rebels can still spawn them because they have Northern Jianye as a base. We just have to go look for them again. Yeah, it was 0%. It improved, but it didn't improve very much. Zhang Fei got knocked out, which was a bit of a shocker. Alright, we're gonna go all the way here, heal, let him bounce back, and then we're gonna go attack the T. Zhang Fang? Okay, this is Zhang Yan's son, Prince of the Black Mountain. Seems like he comes with a nice armor set. He's willing to spy, so he's not a spy. We're gonna grab him. Silver armor, okay. Alright, we don't need anyone else. Okay, so they're done. We also move them. Let's just take a look to see if anything has changed. Not really. I mean, we can probably retake the Black Mountain sometime in the future for this campaign and gift it back to Zhangfang. That would be kind of neat. Uh, create more vassals. Yeah, let's see. Economy wise, we would want we we'll want just income here. In building private workshop. There we go. Don't would need an in. Bossy is fine right now. In the future, probably maybe not in the future. Maybe just now we'll get a marketplace going. We need to get corruption reduction going. This is just a food paradise. Get this to rank four. Okay, no big deal. Right, you can still see large groups of yellow turban generals. They will have good items. We can keep trying in the future. But this is it for us for now. Waiting for one more turn to do that. If we can, feels like our loyal oh. But we can assassinate a leader. Hmm. Okay. We'll run interference next turn. And then we'll kill Yuan Shu first. It doesn't matter who we kill first, to be honest. Now, can we also discredit faction? I think the best way for us to use her is to wait two turns, discredit faction, then disown her, get the empty spot, see if we can grab Gunning at 15 points. Maybe he'll be willing to join us at that point. We're not going to get Huang Zhuang. He's a little too old, too. Yeah, Gunning would be great. Alright, quick check of diplomacy. Not really caring about peace. Really just care about Great Vassal. We would need to be stronger with our military and also have this go down a lot more. So it's just a matter of time. Alright, we're good. Let's continue. Nobel died of old age. That's actually super good. Because Gunning might have death of a friend or death of a leader. It's a possibility. If he was close. Uh, it didn't work out, but 22. So he did drop a little because the satisfaction from Liu Chong is not as high as Liu Biao. That's the only main change. And a lot of other characters will drop in satisfaction as well. Also for the same exact reason. So Huang Zhong was a friend. We're still going to wait a turn for the discredit faction to pop up. And over here, we're going to wait one more turn to do the assassination. We'll run interference this turn to get it ready. And next turn, we can say goodbye to one of our alliance members. Yuan Shu's time is up. All the assassination he's done in his lifetime is going to be undone to him. 
Changsha really needs upgrade. <laughs> Oh, what about corruption reduction? And I guess we, we talked about this. It's really not much adjacency in bot. Xinjiang, however, borders Hanzhong. In the future, we'll border Luoyang, Shangyong, Anding. Eh, it's not that important, to be honest. Yeah, but this is really high. We can always switch it back in the future. Oh, two builds. Wonderful. Now, where are we going to build those school and um, grain storage, I think? Maybe we rush this to small city and we'll get started with the school first. We have a new reform available. We're going up this way to get tier four corruption reduction building for state workshop. And then we might take a break from that afterward, get a level four in before popping up this route. Still lots of reform to grab. All right, we did the spy. We didn't move any armies yet, but maybe diplomacy first, just a quick check. It's dropping. I mean, we're, we're becoming stronger, that's what's saying. Let's continue to become strong. Ooh, this could be a tough battle. Wenghu is not home. We need to spend a turn sieging, so let's get that set up. Oh, no walls. Uh, then just be a delegate win. Uh, so nice for us to fight the... Nemar factions, they don't have walls, they don't have range. They don't have anything to counter us. So he got wiped. Instead of wait two turns for the mustering to start again, I am just gonna disband. You can't re you can't swap the same unit, so and this way we can have him ready a little bit quicker. Perfect. I think it'll be like what? Two turns? They'd be even faster than many of these um, injured units, uh, but we'll keep them. They have rank on them. And then, let's see, Mulu has capital here. Lady Zhurong still alive. Where's Menghua's new capital? Over here. Okay. We'll push this way, I guess. And Ma Teng will take the T. And then we need to do a lot of conversions for our inn buildings. We're not delegating that well, but I'll take it. And Wu Tugu's capital goes to here. Okay. All right, let's get this tough fight at the end. We'll take some easy stuff first. All right, that's two T resources in the same turn. We're gonna go grab the armor craftsman next. Let's get closer to our weaponsmith. Ooh. Oh, if the yellow turban takes it, then we don't even need to worry about the lion's war situation. We'll see. Alright, let's end with this fight here. Yeah, they have us losing. The only thing that's really annoying in this army is a lot of shields. A lot of poison unit that's invisible until you get really close to them. And a few elephants. That's actually a lot of trouble. Alright, we should be able to deal with them though. Um, the map for this is standard lumberyard? Yes, okay. So we can take advantage of maybe this side again 
fire into the camp. We have fire arrow this time, so it should go even better. Let's get started. Alrighty, so what we're going to do here is ring fire down from this cliff side here. And to make sure they cooperate with us, what we're going to do is we're going to take three of our non-fire arrow cavalry, place them somewhere they can see. Oh, it's really far actually. Like right here. I don't know if they can see us, but hopefully they can. And then we take the other three, so this is one door, and put them outside this door. So this way, the enemy will see that we have units over here, and they'll place all their units kind of in between here. Uh, we'll keep our general together. They heal quite nicely together because Zamba is a bandit. So let's put them together. Let's call them four. Then we have fire on both of these groups. So we're going to have them go one at a time up to that cliff and burn the enemy. I'm going to call these two, call these three, four. I really should call these separately. Okay, hold on. Let me take these, call them five. Now it's not so confusing. Yeah. Do we want any deployables? Probably not. It could help us with elephants, but I think we gotta go in for this one, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we need scouting to see where they are inside. It's gonna require some generals, no dueling policies activated. And then it's just gonna be us running to this point like this spreading ourselves out and making sure that we don't stand on any place where we can burn ourselves that's kind of the second part of this maybe something like this and then they can go take a peek maybe from here looks like that's high ground enough it'd be funny if they were charging out this whole time and we just can't see because no vision Oh, they're all over there. Okay, perfect. So four, they can just start firing. Let's see, how do we do this? Something like this. And we'll rain fire down them from the side because they'll be facing getting ready for this group here. This would go a lot smoother than Zhuge Liang's attack on the Lumberyard because he didn't have fire attack yet, which is actually Really strange, because Zhuge Liang's really famous for all his fire attacks. And he doesn't start the game with composure. Why don't we... Hmm. Oh, we're burning ourselves, we're burning ourselves. You just gotta be really mindful of that because you do damage yourself quite fast. Might as well grab them as well. I don't think we're doing as much damage as we can, but this will have to do. Oh, generals, general. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one to burn down some of the towers because eventually we have to go inside. Well, go faster with two of you. Yeah, the tree is taking a lot of the arrows. Just need to get it over 50%, then it'll catch fire itself. Okay. 
你将一败涂地，并被彻底遗忘。闭嘴，迎接你的死期吧。They don't have a shot on it. I feel like they don't have a shot on it. Hold on. Auto. Maybe you can tilt a little. No. No, they don't have a shot on it either. What are we doing here? We have a shot on this one. Nope. Okay, come over here. Tank a couple hits. Get it done. So difficult. This guy still has no shot on it. Only one of them shooting at it. Move, move. Er, don't care. Can you jump? Yu Chun, ba xi, dao zi wei zhi le. Why is it so difficult to hit a tower? Come on, guys. Like they're just not hitting it. Like they have a shot at it. I don't understand. They're not shooting at it. They're shooting at the unit. Listen to me. There we go. Hit the tower. Like this guy just refuses to hit the tower. Like, how are you not seeing the tower? All right, so we're 50. Had enough of this. Get back over here. Go help him out. Go help him out. We're gonna get shot. Oh, we're gonna be shot even inside. That's not good. All right, you two just finish up your shots. We're gonna give him some boosts. We're gonna give ourselves some heals. And John L is just gonna murder him himself. Yeah, that's fine. We can beat this. I think. We're good. We have some regular arrows left. How many shots do we have? Yeah, they're pretty much out. Actually, no. They should all go to the other side. We'll have them finish shooting. Uh, he has another job. Go snipe Dorsu. Try to kill these. I think that's the only spear unit left. Right, give him another heal. I'll we'll just clean out some key targets before going in. 
Make sure he goes all the way to white. Not losing that many men, to be honest. Okay. Now, everyone, war elephants if you can. Do a bow. Don't fire well yet. Come over here. Right here. I will try to kill off the war elephant first. Still not done. He has a bow as well. Alright, John, you can beat this. You can beat this. We're gonna go over here too. Come on. Oh, they're over pursuing. Don't, 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 don't. I think they routed the elephant. Oh, we got it. Oh, we threw his weapon back into his face. Nice. Can you guys reach him? Might be a tough reach. Gotta go here. Alright, now you're gonna try to snipe. Oh, they're both not that strong. Oh, Dosu. Why not? Oh, no, I can join them over here. Can we hit the elephant? Yes, we can. Good. One down. I mean, if the arrow punctures the drum, the, un the unit's kind of pointless, isn't it? Alright, they made it away. I think we barely did any damage, but okay. Mm, we're not dueling. Two at a time. I think the problem with charging all of them is they don't get efficient charges off. I still wouldn't call this efficient, but it's better than... Alright, then get out of the way. Let wave 2 do the thing. Here comes wave 2. Good, good, good. Wave 2. Onto a general. Onto a general. Onto a general. Wave one, just go for range. Fine. Actually, no, let's just go back. Kill the general first. They're all going to route. General's gone. Maybe we kill them would be even faster, but this is fine too. You know what? Stop firing. Charge! Keep charging. Oh, 
Stuck on tree. Charge into those elephants. Be brave. Brave. Steady. Steady, bring them down. These are Nemo elephants. They have low health. Whack them. Whack them. There we go. So <laughs> everyone's in queue, but because of this single tree, everyone's in queue. Don't we win? Oh, this is back. Turn, 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 turn. Here's your opportunity. All right, we got him. He's like, ah, we're out. Alrighty, another fight against the Nunmun that went really, really well for us. Elephants aren't that scary when you outnumber them with cavalry. More execution. He doesn't have burn. Unique art. I know, it's such a shame. Alright, let's not murder him. And let's occupy. Alright, perfect. So, that's gonna end this episode here as we are now bordering Lady Zhurong and Mu Lu's factions, and we're approaching the edge of the Nanman map. Now some of these terrains are very very difficult to get through, so it's going to take us a while to get through all their territory, uh, but we'll get there eventually, and once we get out of their territory we'll be bumped into Shi Xie's faction no doubt, and Han Empire, these we can try to wipe out. We don't need to leave anyone for trade because we have our own vassals for that. We're going to work on Gan Ning's relationship here, because we know for a fact that Liu Bao's death is kind of the opening we need. Maybe we can get him. It might require us to drop a spy or maybe pick up a reform. I'll probably have to drop a spy uh, to see if we can get him as a turncoat, because I can't drop him by 22 points. We just don't have that power. Aside from that, uh, we're still planning an action against Sun Ce, depending on what this army does. Uh, if they take it, then we don't really have to declare war on him. Uh, but regardless, once our army get here, our goal is to grab this, force him into alliance war, have our allies wipe him out. That would be the most optimum route. Looks like Cao Cao is going to personally end Wu Jing. And um, beyond that, I don't know what this army is going to do after. Maybe hunt down some of these yellow turbans with items. We'll take a look, see if they respawn. Uh, we got the T here. We still need the armor craftsman. And we're probably going to keep pushing Meng Huo until we can find where he is. Uh, if we locate him, we might splurge and just teleport Zhuge Liang's army to fight him. Because we want that 7 capture event to see if that's even in the game. Uh, we did release him before in a separate campaign. And it did have him trigger event of releasing him. I just don't know if there's anything special with Zhuge Liang. Or is there anything special with doing it 7 times. So we'll try to test that out the best we can. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And see you all next time. Bye.